In this video, we're going to be looking at the structures of the knee. Here we can see our quadriceps tendon coming down. That's the four large muscles in the anterior thigh. Their tendon is going to circle around the patella, which is this bone here. And then from the patella down to our tibial tuberosity, we have the patellar ligament. In order to see the ligaments that are inside of the knee, we need to move the patella out of the way. So we're going to push it over to the side, and I'm going to stretch these two bones apart. And as I do that, you should see the cross, or X, that's forming in the middle. These two ligaments are the cruciate ligaments. Cruciate comes from the Latin word crux, which means to cross. The one that crosses over in the front is the anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL. The crossing ligament in the back is the posterior cruciate ligament, or PCL. Now, an easier way to see the PCL is to simply turn the model around to the back side, and here we can see the PCL very clearly. On the sides of the knee, we have our collateral ligaments. Collateral simply means on both sides. Now, here we have our tibia, and here we have our fibula. The collateral ligament that attaches to the tibia is called the tibial collateral ligament. Older sources commonly refer to this as the medial collateral ligament because it's on the medial side. You can use either one, so medial collateral ligament or tibial collateral ligament. I like tibial because it tells you which bone it attaches to. On the lateral side attaching to the fibula, we have the fibular collateral ligament. Older sources refer to this as the lateral collateral ligament. If you like lateral collateral, you can use that. I like fibular collateral ligament because it tells you which bone it's actually attached to.